how hard is it for pay TV channels to compete with digital trends? So actually, I think our channels and brands are actually setting the digital trends. For example, we have one channel, Sci-Fi is a global channel. Mm -hmm. We did the first virtual reality fictional, fictional series. So we are, we are, by nature, we are setting the digital trends in the world. So I don't see any contradiction there. <laughs> um, uh, somebody said on the panel that um, the users are platform agnostic. And I love it. I love the term platform agnostic. They don't care. Uh, about the platform, they care about the content. Do you agree? I agree. So I, we are by heart content producer and curators. Yeah? So, and to be honest, in the end, we see ourselves, uh, we are channels, but we are basically now brands. And whether it's linear, non-linear, or it's website or social media, or it's offline, or virtual reality, or we are doing esports now, it's just one universe, and so I agree with this term agnostic. Uh, mm -hmm. We are by heart uh, care to provide the best content we can, whether it's international or locally, to the to subscribers to have one experience. What would you say is the future of pay TV channels? What would you say to all those people who say that pay TV is a dinosaur and it's not gonna it's not gonna be around for a, a long time? As I said, in the, in the core, I think, is the content themselves. And people love great content. Mm -hmm. And with our studio background, we are, I think, expert in providing this great big shows, experience, but also producing more and more local content, mm -hmm. since we know that's really uh, important to be locally re relevant as well. And uh, this will never change. And uh, so pay TV is, is, as I said, it's a 360 experience. And we are providing already Long, linear, linear, offline, website, social media, it's all one. Mm -hmm. and it's one package. It's one package mm -hmm. and um, so it's not like pay TV is old and it's traditional, others new. Actually, we, as I said, we invented this experience. Huh? Mm -hmm. So we are at the forefront of new developments and we are aiming to do more and more of this. Mm -hmm. You were talking uh, on the panel, you were talking about um, a virtual reality project. Can you tell us a bit more about it? Yeah, we, with Sci-Fi we did the first fictional virtual reality series, Halcyon, and now there's the next project coming, which I can't talk a, a lot, unfortunately, okay. now at this moment. So we have gathered our first experience, and it's not an easy one, to be honest, to combine the virtual world with the traditional linear world. So, and we don't know, obviously, at the moment you have this virtual reality headsets, but maybe this is changing, this will change. Probably in three years you will, you will watch virtual reality on very different devices. Um, so for us it's really, really important uh, to gather this experience, to provide uh, this experience to the subscribers on all and to be honest, we don't we do, we don't uh, mind whether it's on a on a uh, on this uh, Google uh, Google set or whether they maybe in the future you only have some glasses or can watch it some on your mobile device. Um, and now we did the next step with the production in this direction. Um, so um, watch on more news. <laughs> we'll talk about it next year at NEM. Yeah. Next, yes, definitely. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.